Hello again guys, this is Ryan Marshall here, Australian podiatrist in East Coast Podiatry, Singapore. Now today, we're going to be speaking about another running related injury, and one that is not often discussed and often overlooked is the female athlete triad and its relation to stress fractures. Research indicates that female athletes are at an increased risk of getting a stress fracture in comparison to males. Now this can be related to a decrease in bone density as a result of the female athlete triad. When women go to extremes in dieting or exercise, three interrelated conditions occur. One is eating disorders, two is menstrual dysfunction, and three is premature osteoporosis. As a female athlete's bone density decreases, her risk of developing a stress fracture increases. A stress fracture is a small, tiny crack within the bone that occurs as a result of overuse or repetitive stress on the bone. Now that is why they are so common in runners due to the high impact nature of the activity. Now the most common area for stress fractures to occur is within the foot, but more specifically, the second and the third metatarsal bones, as they are often thinner and longer than the adjacent first metatarsal bone. Now this is the highest area of pressure during the running activity. Now stress fractures can also occur in the leg bones, in the heel bone, and also within the midfoot bones where major tendons insert. Now bone is in a constant state of turnover a process that we call remodeling. Now, if a patient's intensity is too high or their bone density is too weak, the new bone cannot replace the breakdown of the old bone. Therefore, their bones will weaken. Now, when their bones are weaker, they are at an increased risk of developing a stress fracture. Now, what we have to look into are what are the symptoms of a stress fracture and what patients should be looking out for. The main symptom of a stress fracture is pain, but more specifically, pain that develops during the activity, which will worsen in severity. Now this pain may diminish after the activity and in periods of rest. Now other symptoms include possible bruising, possible swelling, and also tenderness upon palpation of the area of injury. What parents should be looking out for if they have teenagers that are doing increased exercise is ensuring that they have appropriate diet and also proper menstrual function. If they don't have any of these, they could be at an increased risk of developing the female athlete triad. If we do see that there is any issues in relation to diet, they will be referred to the correct health professional in order to deal with this aspect of treatment. The podiatrist will focus on the diagnosis and the treatment of the stress fracture. What is really important is getting a definite diagnosis on the stress fracture. Podiatrists will utilize diagnostic tools, including ultrasound and x-rays, in order to be able to attain the correct diagnosis. Now, once we get the diagnosis of a stress fracture, podiatrists will have to immobilize the foot. That means reducing the pressure. The way that a podiatrist will do this is either through the use of medical boots or possible casting, to reduce any pressure going throughout the foot. Now, things like crutches may also be used to reduce the weight bearing activity. Now, when we have a look at the remodeling process of the bone, as I discussed, we do specialize in therapies that increase this remodeling process. Now, these involve extracorporeal shockwave therapy and also superinductive system, which is electromagnetic therapy. Both of these modalities increase with the remodeling process of the bone and therefore increase the rate of healing of a stress fracture. Once the patient is able to walk again, what we need to focus on is activity modification. Now what this might mean is reducing the frequency of the activity, meaning not so often, and also reducing the intensity of the activity, which also relates to changing the type of activity. Now this might mean doing cross training, therefore not so much high impact running, more so, doing swimming and spin bike activities. 
Now, if a podiatrist recognise that a patient is at increased risk of stress fracture due to their foot posture and abnormal pressure redistribution, then we will utilise custom foot orthotics. Now, these are prescription medical inserts that are placed within the footwear to place the foot in a more ideal position and then redistribute pressure correctly to reduce excessive force in certain areas of the foot. Now, this will also be addressed with gait retraining, meaning that we have to look at how the patient is running and see if we need to make modifications. And really vital is footwear education as well. Now, this will all be addressed with strengthening and also stretching of the related structures. If you're a female athlete or even a female individual that is performing any high impact activities and you do have any discomfort in the foot, I would advise you to attend to a podiatrist as you may be at increased risk of developing a stress fracture as a result of the female athlete triad. Thank you guys very much for tuning in and I look forward to speaking to you soon. For more information on related conditions, check out our other videos.